hello and welcome to my youtube channel canvas in this video we are going to find the relation between the wavelength lambda associated with a particle in one dimensional box length of box l and quantum number n the wave function plot of a particle moving in a 1d box of length l can be drawn like this here i am not going to discuss about how to make this plot as I have already discussed it in detail in a separate lecture. The link for the same is given in the description box of this video. You can also find that video by clicking on the i button. n1, n2, n3 and n4 are the quantum numbers. Here number of nodes is equal to n minus 1 as we know that a wave consists of peaks and troughs this is the wavelength lambda for n is equal to 1 there is only peak so in this case l will be equal to half of wavelength for n is equal to 2 there is one peak and one trough so l is equal to lambda for n is equal to 3 there are two peaks and one trough so l is equal to 3 lambda upon 2 for n is equal to 4 there are two peaks and two troughs so l is equal to 2 lambda we can write L is equal to lambda upon 2 as 1 lambda upon 2. L is equal to lambda as 2 lambda upon 2. L is equal to 3 lambda upon 2 is equal to 3 lambda upon 2. And L is equal to 2 lambda as 4 lambda upon 2. Here we can see that the coefficient of lambda upon 2 in each case is the quantum number of that level. So we can generalize that L is equal to n lambda upon 2 or lambda is equal to 2L upon n. That's all in this video. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this video. Thank you very much for watching this video.